most large companies, what you do is like you sit down and you're given a problem, right? And you look at that problem and you sit down and just solve that. When you work in a startup, you actually get exposure to everything that is happening in the company. You want everything going uh, over our heads. And uh, uh, why that is not a concern that we will not have anything flying from the sky sure. onto our heads? I think, honestly, several means of transportation have its own merit. Uh, like diff different modalities have it, its own merit. Uh, I think to, for what Elon is doing, I think it's interesting for, for long distances and for, for some particular cases. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm working in a complete um, opposite direction, but I understand that concern. And so to elaborate a little bit more, what goes into uh, allowing drones or UAVs to, to fly aut autonomously, there are kind of four pillars, right? One of them is operations. The other one is the communications with the drone. The other one is airspace coordination and mitigation. And the, the fourth one is aircraft certification. I don't know if that says a lot, but uh, basically aircraft certification is the one that deals with, is your aircraft good enough? Have you tested it enough? Will it not fall from the, from the sky, right? Like companies like Amazon are going through this process of getting their aircraft certified and making sure that it's not gonna fall from the sky. It's not only fun to uh, the fact that you work with the drone and so on, but behind the behind the curtains, um, there is also a lot of uh, complex uh, machine learning, physics, if you like, machine learning, engineering, physics work to make this algorithm uh, all together come to work. Is it funny for a student that comes out of the school, being him an engineer or being a data scientist to work in this field? Is it something fun in your opinion? I mean, it's super entertaining and interesting. Of course, we, we, uh, that's why we, ha we do have a high retention in our company because they join and they see a, a very different problem that, that what's talked about out, out there. And we have, we have customers that are already using our autonomous systems. So that is, that, it is very exciting. There's innovation on an industry that is not very well served with computer vision. And there's like the fact that things are our data already. We already have customers already in use. Um, and yeah, it's a different, it's a different challenge that you would, you, you see normally out there. If you would like to help somebody uh, in terms of, you know, choosing something different here and, 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 uh, besides being funny, okay. What, what would be a professional reason to look behind the large companies and really look into companies like yours that is doing something that is really cutting edge? Uh, what, what would be the rational professional reason that you would, uh, share with them? Right. I, I think working in a startup is not for everybody. But, um, but some of the reasons why people choose to do that is um, because at most, most large companies, what you do is like you sit down and you're given a problem, right? And you look at that problem and you sit down and just solve that. When you work in a startup, you actually get exposure to everything that is happening in the company, right? You might get to sit down and, and have a chat with the CEO about how he sees certain things and how important the work that you're doing is, right? Um, th it's something that would probably be almost impossible to happen in a large, large company. And, and also, you, you, you become a, a well-rounded, in, th in this case, engineer, because you're exposed to different bits of, of the problem, right? You have to solve this core part of it, but also, hey, can you give a hand on this sort of thing? And can you give your, your opinion on this other thing. You, you ask really about everything that goes into making um, what you're building a reality, right? And the, I think the last bit and something that really gets a lot of people is the likelihood of what you're building being out there in the world and being used um, when you're working in a startup is really high, right? You build something, next week, someone in South Africa might be using it already. Right, and that is very exciting, and see how that affects and really works in the world. Um, then that is a way less frequent thing that you would see in large companies. Very often, you would have you work in projects for six months, and you, your project is like, "Thank you very much, uh, good work, but uh, we're not going to ship this." And so it it, it it does happen very often. I'm and I'm not going to say that working in a large company is not a good decision. It's just. I think different people are in different stages in their lives and enjoy one place or the other.
Yeah, so one other aspect that I like to briefly dig in is how do they find out about opportunity like yours? Because your company, you know, if it does marketing, it's doing marketing for their own uh, customers. And that's where the, the resources uh, do. I mean, sometimes these companies get covered. But I, I remember being in school, even, you know, when I did my MBA, it would be very hard to find out companies like yours. And now that I look into uh, AI so deeply, I can appreciate fairly quickly that this is doing cutting edge work and it might be a lot of uh, interest. Like it could be a very good starting point for a lot of people that really wants right. to do deliver stuff. So how do they find out? So there, there are a few different things. Yeah, it's really hard to compete with Googles and the Facebooks, of course, they're everywhere, including their own platforms. But um, the, the good thing is that there are platforms like um, work, like the YC work at a startup um, site and event that they have, for example. Uh, we were part of Y Combinator in 2016. Um, we were part of that network. So, um, for example, right now we have two job openings in my team for computer vision engineers with, with a master's or and a couple of years of experience. But yeah, it will, it will be in YC forums and it will be in forums in like different conferences, which is the same place that some of the big companies will publish. Um, and um, yeah, we, we, we try to push it through different channels. So if, if someone's really looking for a, a job in this industry, hopefully they will, they will find it. But at least in the Valley, we have a decent uh, visibility. So and, and where, where, when they can go to look for in, in conferences, do you, do you have a website that you suggest they should go? Like what, what would be the, the right way, I would say broadly, to find out spot companies like yours that are doing right. really cutting edge work? First, I would encourage people to go to irisonboard.com slash careers and then they will find a couple of openings in my team. But other than that, if they go to CVPR, the CVPR careers page, for example, uh, CVPR is a well-known computer vision conference. Um, they will find a lot of these postings there. And then, like I said, go to the YC, uh, the Y Combinator website you will find uh, all the companies that went through YC, you can publish uh, job openings with them. So you, you, can, uh, you can see those there. And a lot of, of like, all of them are startups right now, right? 